some of the basics when you're drawing hair is that each strand of hair is essentially a cylinder and you have light that will hit the part that is out the uh, farthest and then it will get darker on the edges of that round piece. So when it comes to uh, drawing something like a braid, you have several of them and they're overlapping. So um, you want to start off by just kind of giving yourself some guidelines. And then I always talk about it as the letter Y. So uh, you make a Y, another Y, and each one of these is going to be a cylinder in here. And uh, so it's also going to throw some shadow in this area, but it's going to have shadow here and here and here. So this is going to be the brightest part. Basically this part curves towards us and it gets covered up by the other one that curves around. So when it comes to adding color, you want to choose a color scheme that's going to be um, harmonious with each other. So let's say you give your monster uh, some blue hair. On either side of the blue on the color wheel we have green and if you want to go further we could go with yellow or we could go with purple. I'm going to go with yellow um, and then we're also going to get some white. I have a white, I just need to peel this off. So we need some white for the highlights and I'm going to go ahead and take a purple and put it in there too just in case. So I've got the main color is going to be blue and I'm going to be blending these colors in here. All right, Really selectively using this purple. So let's go ahead and start with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a darker line against the edge and then a light one right next to it. And then I'm going to go darker here and lighter as we go. Kind of building up that value and then as it goes uh, into around the braid we're going to have this. And now I can also make those hair marks now. All right, but this is just the base color, so I don't have to do too many lines. I'm just kind of putting some color in. But I want to move my lines in the direction that the hair is growing. So if the hair is going this direction, I'm going to make my lines go this way. I'm not going to go across. All right, uh, now I can start to add in some of those greens. And the green on top of the blue is going to look really nice. A lot of times if you just put one color down on the paper, it just looks blah. Sometimes you just have to build up some of this here. Alright, I'm going to go back in now because the blue on top of the green I think looks really nice. I'm just going back and forth between dark and light. Alright, uh, I'm going to go in now and add some white into the center part. And I'm going to go too far. It's going to look too bright. And I don't have much difference between the really dark and the really light. But now I can come in and in the middle part add some of that subtle change again. Maybe it's just a hair of yellow right in the middle. And then for the final part here, I'm going to add my purple. Once again, I'm going to kind of go back and forth between my darkest spots and my brightest spots. Okay still doesn't quite look like there's hair, so I'm going to kind of come back in with this blue here. Alright, and now I'm going to make the next braid. I can even turn my paper a little bit. And I can curve. Make it dark here on the edge. As 
the light hits, this is that cylinder, it's going to hit the part that's popped out the most, and then the rest is going to go back into shadows. It's going back and forth here. And I've forgotten that I have another green I can use, so I could come in with this dark green and even kind of darken some things up. Alright, and now we've got this part of the, br br uh, the braid. You want to do most of your drawing with the oil pastel because that pencil is going to just uh, muddy everything up. And very selectively, I might come in with a black. Now that I'm noticing that it's just not quite, the darks aren't just quite punching enough, but I'm, it's the last resort. Notice I did um, three sections before I came in with this black part. Kind of waited to see how they were going to sit with the other ones. But I'm not getting enough definition between these braids here. Right, and then you just bring those on either way. 